Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Wow, this video has been a long time coming. Like, <laughs> I have been working on this corner for so long. Um, it's not that I couldn't have gotten it done sooner. Um, it just wasn't on the top of my list. But I'm so happy that it's finally finished. I, yeah, anyways, you're gonna see the whole process. You're gonna see everything. Um, there's, I'm gonna go back and find like all the old footage. I'm going to add pictures of what this whole wall looked like before we did anything with it, when we just bought the house. And I'm so excited for you to see this transformation. It's pretty crazy. Um, so yeah, I at least have one nice corner in my kitchen. <laughs> Oh, it's so fun whenever, um, like, we're just slowly renovating our own home just as we can afford it and as we have time and it's just so much fun every time we see a little bit of progress and I'm very excited for you to see this video. It's the first of many renovation videos to come, um, but yeah, I'm just going to get right into it. I'm going to just kind of walk you through the whole process of what we did, um, so when we first moved into this house, um, this this wall was the grossest red color. It looked like fake brick. It was like red brick, black mortar, but very fake colors. So this wall um, was one of the first things that we painted in this house um, before we moved in. It was definitely quite the process. Um, going into here and everywhere, um, but it was so worth it and yeah, it is just so beautiful now. Um, and then my husband, he built these um, shelves and I found the shelf brackets on Amazon. They were actually white, I don't think they had any black ones available, so we just spray painted them black. And then this cabinet, I found it for 30 bucks. I think yeah it was 30 bucks on marketplace and that is crazy like I had a I had a previous cabinet that was like it was like a cube cabinet with little cubbies for um, baskets like that but anywhere you look for those wicker baskets they're like so expensive and so I found this one for $30 and it looks like it's the wicker baskets it just has the wicker front so I was very pleased with that. It was a black, so I painted it white. And I'm going to um, have all of that next. I'm going to just take you through the whole process of um, renovating this wall, this little coffee station.
it's like probably weeks if not months later <laughs> since um, filming like just some prepping the cabinet and stuff like that I have been procrastinating it's still all downstairs and I am so tired of it so I'm really hoping I can finalize finalize this video this week that would be so fantastic I'm just ready to have this area and this area. I'm ready to have those coffee makers off the counter and back in their little spot here and I just I can't wait to put this video up for you guys. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be working on painting that cabinet today. Hey you guys, I am so excited. This area is finally done. Wow, that was a long time coming. But I just wanted to kind of just talk about, yeah, everything, where it's from and what I'm, how I have it organized and everything. Um, I can't say that I'm a big fan of having so much on this cabinet. Like, I would prefer that the coffee maker was not there, the one that's in the middle. But for now, it's just the best to have it all in one area. Um, so yeah, we've got our espresso machine, our coffee maker, and our coffee grinder. And on the shelves here, I just have some stuff that I don't really use, like just more or less for decor. And yeah, there's those little those little cups. I I found those little cups on Marketplace for like ten bucks or something, and that. Um, that base right there. I think I DIY'd it in a previous video But my husband gave me flowers in it and it was just clear glass, so I painted it and made it look like Clay, I don't know if you can kind of see the texture on it. It's really cute And then this one is a way more functionable shelf Got our coffee grind in here, and then this is what I'm most excited about. These are my coffee syrups I'm I definitely I have more and I want to get more but yeah, these are the main ones that I use. We've got lavender, white chocolate, and caramel. I need one for vanilla because that one is the most common one, but I'm out of vanilla. And then this is my Chemex coffee maker. <laughs> yes, I have multiple different kinds of coffee makers, but I really want to get like a label maker and then put like little labels on here so that um, we can just see what kind of syrup we have. And then, let's move on to the drawers. I organized them all nicely. They're a little hard to open. Here we just have all sorts of different drink options. We've got like mint tea, green tea, just all sorts of teas. And then we've got blueberry tea in here. Look how pretty it is. For blueberry lattes, got some instant coffee here for like Desserts and stuff. Don't worry, I don't drink instant coffee. <laughs> We've got our matcha powder in here. I just thought it would be so much cuter if we had them in jars. And then we have our hot chocolate powder, which we're almost out of. But that's what we have in this drawer here. In the next one, we have all of the espresso machine like attachments or whatever, everything you need for that. 
and our little espresso cups back there. These two drawers right here is things that we'll use pretty often. Um, in the bottom here, we just have a bunch of extra stuff like, yes, another coffee maker, <laughs> extra blueberry tea filter for the Chemex and our other coffee filters for the coffee maker. And then in this last one, we have all of our <laughs> extra coffee got all our beans here and extra coffee grinds so yeah we should be all set that is all for today's video i really hope you guys enjoyed it um i have been so excited about this video and um yeah hopefully it gives you some inspiration um you don't need to spend like a lot of money on um renovations and stuff you can diy a lot and that's definitely how we save a lot of money while doing renovations. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you have an amazing rest of your day and I cannot wait to see you next time.